Uh, so, like, another thing uh, that I wanted to talk about is, like, anxiety, basically. From what I've, like, noticed with myself is that I would just, out of nowhere, become anxious. And, and this is mainly shown uh, through the urge to cry and just, like, little shaky, like, little shakes of my hand. And what one of the reasons I believe I have this is one from going to a very common well from going to um, okay this is how, this is how I'm gonna say it basically I believe I have more anxiety than I've ever had in my life is because I've been taken to a place that was pretty much comfort comfortable and familiar like my parents semi truck because I, I used to be just like on the road my parents to basic military training which leaves me with myself and all the pressure that comes with it to be excellent in all I do or at least meet the standards enough to where I'm not a liability to my fellow uh, trainees basically so maybe I'm assuming that's like one of the reasons why I have this but here's the thing I never let it get in my way obviously obviously I never get it, let it get in my way I didn't let it get in my way now I had an objective <laughs> I had you know people that I need to help multiple people coming back to back that needed my help in terms of the documentation for their deployment and I didn't let it get in my way sure it may have been obvious maybe to like how my voice may have cracked a little bit but I still didn't let it get in my way in terms of my success or in terms of being a team player. But it definitely led to, not, led to me not having the best mood. And the main reason why I can feel anxious at times is because I have multiple people who depend on me basically in terms of just their assignment like their success basically there's multiple people at once who are depending on me for their success and all of them have the same high expectation of me knowing what I'm supposed to be doing you know what I'm saying like they have the expectation of me being able to give them the answers to every single one of their questions and that has given me anxiety but here's the thing here's what like I need to learn in regards to this first off it's not a bad thing I'm gonna feel anxious that's fine like with sadness and anger these these emotions are valid that that's that's where I start at this emotion that I'm feeling or this anxiety that I'm feeling because of the overwhelming experience that I'm going through is valid so there's no need to suppress it we start with that and the second thing that we go into in regards to this is why we fell in the first place and that's how I got the point to where I feel anxious because there's multiple people who depend on me for, the, for their success who have the same expectation of excellence from me because that's 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 the standard for us all however i'm still new to my job so it, it can be hard and it's and it's quite frustrating to not know everything basically but the thing is with that is what well the thing is is that i need to give myself grace when i do not know the answers because I'm not going to know all the answers. I'm going to be I'm going to be ignorant in certain uh, areas of education or of my job, etc. That's the point. Number one is giving myself grace when I do not know. Number two is let me see. Number two is deciding to live by my own standard the thing is I know my limits nobody else knows my limits I do though and with that being said I can set standards for myself that can be reachable or at least will not feel overwhelming 
because I know the amount of work that I can do. I know the amount of tasks tasks that I can complete within a certain timeline or within a day. So it's about forgetting whatever standards or expectations that I believe other people have on me and live by my own standards, which is an, which is an alignment or which is closely aligned with the success of my job and the job of others who depend on me, basically. So it's like there's a balance here, here um, in terms of standards. Obviously, the standard that my supervisor puts on me is very important in terms of success, time management, consideration, etc. The standards of my supervisor is very important to consider. And with that, what I need to do, sorry, sorry, dang, this is like a nut in my room. But what I need to do is take the standards that my supervisor puts on me and incorporate it into a specific routine or a way of life that will be perfect for me in order to be productive in the way that I need to be, basically. And that's what it's about. Giving myself grace when I'm ignorant because I'm still new and there's so much more to still learn. And incorporating the standards of my higher-ups into a way of being that makes sense and is manageable, basically. And this is how I believe I'll be able to handle that. Um, this is how I feel like I'll be able to handle that anxiety because I have that understanding. Um, and that's like the logical side of it. And now we have to get into, get into the emotional side of it. Because the thing is, like, I can, I can use logic on all of this as much as I want, but like, what emotion that am I tapping into? Because I see, I can think in my head that I need to incorporate the standards of my supervisor into routines that I can live by and give myself grace when I'm ignorant, but still feel like I can't do that. And there's like specific mo emotions that I need to choose for myself in order for me to actually take action. And let me see. And that one, the one emotion is pride, basically. Obviously, you can't allow yourself to be pulled fully into one emotion, or else there'll be extreme negatives, like not considering the well-being of others at all when you're too prideful. However, you can tap into that emotion enough to where you understand your self-worth and understand that you can improve basically and the, the emotion pride is something that I can also tap into in addition to what I understand on the logical side and so both sides need to be intertwined basically in order for me to actually function in the way that I want to and in the way that, that and in the way that it will be, mo be most helpful for the people around me, basically. So, it's giving my it's giving myself grace when I'm ignorant. Incorporating the standards of individuals who are who are higher and more knowledgeable than me into routines that are manageable for me, and tapping into that emotion of pride. So I, I can take the work that I'm given right now more seriously so I can feel much better about myself. So it's about myself and the people who depend on me, basically. So that's what it's about. Um, yeah, so just like thank you for watching this, if you did. And yeah, this is just a whole series of my own self-reflection. Self and self-improvement because that's what it's about just me documenting this because this is a form of accountability basically I'm literally putting it out there and what it is I need to do to improve so how am I gonna do it and that's the point